Uh, we did have the fog this morning, and will there be fog again tomorrow morning? Let's go outside to meteorologist J.D. Rudd for this scientific experiment. Well, the biggest question is, Gary, what happened? What caused that fog this morning? It's called radiational fog. We had that heat that came in yesterday. It heated up the ground, and then last night with the moisture and the heat, it radiated back up out of the ground. Let's talk a little science about that. We're going to pretend a little bit. Let's pretend this is our ground, and this little bit of water I have in here is the moisture that was trapped in the ground. Now, we're going to use the help of dry ice to help create a little bit of that fog. This gives you an idea of how that fog kind of comes up out of the ground. And because there was no wind, next to no wind last night, that fog was able to kind of just sit there at the surface, kind of like that, and build up because, again, it was radiating out of the ground. And then what happened this morning when the sun came back up, that sun caused a heat difference. And with that, you got wind. And when the wind came into play, it mixed out that fog. And that's why we saw the sky clear out after the sun came up. So, again, we could have more moisture in the ground. The wind will be light out of the east or so tonight, so we could see a little more of that fog forming. There are a few tips for you to keep in mind. If you're going to be out there driving, make sure you slow down. Make sure you don't follow too closely the person in front of you. And whatever you do, don't use your bright headlights. That's just going to reflect off the water particles in the air and wind up blinding you. So, a few tips to stay safe in the event, Gary, we see a little more of that fog.